Okay, hello Cloud Gurus and welcome to this lecture. This lecture is called EBS 101. Now we briefly touched on EBS in the EC2 101 lecture and we've also used EBS already when we provisioned our very first EC2 instance. But in this lecture, we're gonna deep dive a little bit deeper into EBS. So what is EBS? EBS. Well, EBS basically stands for Elastic Block Store, and essentially it's a virtual hard disk in the cloud. It provides persistent block storage volumes for use with Amazon EC2 instances in the AWS cloud, and each Amazon EBS volume is automatically replicated within its own availability zone to protect you from component failure, which is offering high availability and durability. So all EBS is, is a virtual hard disk drive in the cloud, and it comes in five different flavors. So we've got general purpose SSD, which is what we've been using so far. We've got provisioned IOPS, which is also SSD. So this is where you want really, really fast input outputs per second. We then have throughput optimized hard disk drive. This is actually a physical uh, hard disk drive. So it's not SSD, it's magnetic. Um, so it's, this is where it's going to be optimized um, for throughput. We then have our cold hard disk drive. Again, this is magnetic. And then we also just have magnetic. So let's look at the different use cases for each one. So let's start with general purpose SSDs. So our SSDs are broken down into general purpose and provisioned IOPS. General purpose is basically designed for uh, SSD volumes that balance price and performance um, for a wide variety of transactional workloads. And essentially its use case is most workloads. Now these API names you will need to know going into your exam. Um, it does come up, they do sometimes use the API names. They certainly do it in the Certified SysOps Administrator Associate exam as well. Um, so general purpose SSDs SSD is GP2, uh, and it's suitable for workloads up to 16,000 IOPS per volume. If you start going above 16,000 IOPS, you're going to need to go over to provisioned IOPS, and provisioned IOPS SSD is the highest performance SSD volume, and it's designed for mission critical applications. So your workloads here will be databases. Uh, and the good thing about provisioned IOPS SSD is it's capable of going up to 64,000 IOPS per volume now. We then have over here all our different hard disk drive options. So we've got our throughput optimized hard disk drive, our cold hard disk drive, and then our EBS magnetic. Um, so throughput optimized is obviously for optimized throughput. So where you would use this would be things like big data and data warehousing. It's known as ST1. Uh, and its maximum IOPS per volume is going to be 500 IOPS per volume. Your cold hard disk drive, this is the lowest cost um, hard disk drive of, of volume um, and it's designed for less frequently accessed workloads. So this could be things like file servers, uh, etc. Um, so, uh, and again, the IOPS on this is not great. It's 250. And we then have EBS Magnetic. This is basically a previous generation hard disk drive. It is still available. Um, so you can still use it in the console. Uh, and this is basically for workloads where data is infrequently accessed. So it might be where you're doing a bit of data archiving, but for some reason you opt not to use Glacier. Uh, and again, the um, IOPS for that is between 40 to 200. So the best way to learn EBS is to go ahead and start playing with it. So in the next lecture, we're going to learn all about EBS and we're going to look at how we can create new volumes, how we can do snapshots, how we can resize volumes on the fly, et cetera, et cetera. So if you've got the time, please join me in the next lecture. Thank you.